the entire NBA playoff bracket is set for the playoffs. And this is great for all NBA fans because we are knowing every playoff matchup that's going to be so far. But in my opinion, the most intriguing and polarizing matchup that has been listed has been the Sacramento Kings and the Golden State Warriors. This matchup is really going to be interesting because the Golden State Warriors are one of the best offensive teams in NBA history, but the Sacramento Kings are the number one ranked offense in the NBA this season, which really just shows why they are the three seed in the Western Conference. So it is going to be a battle of the exact same style. The only problem for Sacramento is that their defense is terrible. They're one of the worst defenses in the NBA. So that is not gonna be good because Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, and Jordan Poole are just going to annihilate you from three if you can't defend. Although the counter argument to that is that the Golden State Warriors can literally not win a game on the road. And with Sacramento's home court advantage, it looks like they will win every game at home. So this game could potentially go to a game seven and the Warriors are winning every game at home, but they're losing every game on the road. So that is a counter argument there. And it could be an interesting talking point of the series. The matchup in this series I'm really looking forward to is Stephen Curry, one of the best point guards of all time, going up against one of the league's youngest, most incredible, fun to watch point guards, and quite literally maybe the clutch player of the year this year in De'Aaron Fox. De'Aaron Fox and the Sacramento Kings don't have any playoff experience, except Harrison Barnes, who did win a title with the Warriors in 2015 and 2016. So that is going to carry in the Warriors' favor because the Sacramento Kings have two players that have playoff experience. Harrison Barnes, who what, yeah has a lot. And then DeMontis Sabonis has like maybe a few series in the first round, like exits. But another thing that carries in the Kings' favor is that head coach Mike Brown is in his first year as the head coach for the Sacramento Kings, but he is a former coach on the Golden State Warriors coaching staff. So he knows a lot of their play, their plays and what they're going to try and do in this series to torch the Sacramento Kings. So he is going to tell his team what they need to do to get a win every single night. But because DeMontis Sabonis is so versatile as a big, even though the Golden State Warriors are going to have an advantage because of their playoff experience, DeMontis Sabonis' versatility can definitely give the Golden State Warriors some problems. I mean, put Kevon Looney up against DeMontis Sabonis, and Sabonis is just going to kill him in the paint, not because of his bigness or size or anything even though he's pretty big but just because of his skill i mean if you see his footwork it is just amazing to watch that's why they're just going to destroy the warriors on the road because the golden state warriors have won maybe like 10 games on the road this year it's it's not good so if sacramento can just keep their composure and win games at home I think they're going to be fine in this series and it probably will go to seven games and might be one of the most entertaining series and not just the first round but in the entire playoffs but if Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors make it out of the first round over the seeded favored Kings and then they make it to the NBA Finals and win the title this year is Stephen Curry going to be in the GOAT conversation Comment down below if you think so, and comment down below your predictions on this series. In my opinion, I think the Kings are going to win in seven games, but that's just me. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Click subscribe, turn notifications on, like, share, comment, all the good stuff, and as always, I'm your boy Hyper Hooper Basketball, and we're out.